Look, Hoorish fam, at this point, I'm just trying to get rid of these goddamn hoodies. So when you purchase a hoodie, you will be receiving the Travel Hacking Off the Swipes ebook, the Shelf Corporation H Corp Secrets ebook, all three for $39.99. Y'all tap in, link under the description for the website. Go. What's good, Hoorish fam, man? It's your boy Hoorish Credit back at you again with another fucking banger, man. You feel me? Look, Hoorish fam, today I got a very special video for y'all today. But before we get into the video, happy Sunday. Hopefully, y'all have a good Sunday. Like I tell y'all, on the weekend, I still grind for y'all. I still post. It's my duty, okay, y'all. I gotta drop the sauce every day. It, if I don't drop the sauce every day, honestly, I feel uncomfortable. So I have to make time for y'all. So look, y'all. Today we're gonna be breaking down an institution that is slept on. I'm telling y'all on this channel, I always give y'all the institutions that people don't really pay attention to. People don't show don't show love to these type of institutions, right? And they in your backyard without you guys noticing because you guys go with major institutions. But y'all gotta stop sleeping with these small credit unions and specifically these community banks these small community banks that you guys are sleeping on i'm telling y'all they will throw you that bag like i always say on this channel but we're gonna be breaking down fair wins credit union they got some good personal swipes and some good business swipes so i'm gonna be giving y'all some data points that i did write down for y'all just so y'all could understand this institution better before you guys try and obtain some funding with them so first of all what i want to tell y'all about fair wins credit union is that they will be open nationwide so you don't got to worry about no type of restrictions i know that a little downside of credit unions is that most of them have certain restrictions restrictions that you have to follow to you know become a member but with fairwinds all you have to do is deposit five dollars and you straight you in with fairwinds and another thing that i want to tell y'all is when you try and join fairwinds credit union they are going to do a soft pull on your equifax credit report so what i want y'all to do is make sure that you have that unfrozen okay y'all then if not a representative is going to hit you up they're going to email you or something like that and tell you to unfreeze your uh equifax credit report but you don't gotta worry it's not gonna be a hard inquiry to your equifax credit report there's certain credit unions that they will be doing a hard pull for your personal credit report in the beginning but the thing is you're gonna be able to use that same hard pull for 30 days with fair wins is a little different they don't allow double dipping it's completely different but i'm just giving y'all the tip right make sure with certain credit unions do your data points like really study them because if you get that hard inquiry right off the bat, then you only got a 30 day window so you could uh, use that same hard pool for credit applications. So that's when you guys are ready to apply for some funding. OK, y'all. So I just want you to do your deep research, not only with Fairwinds Credit Union, but with other institutions as well. When you when you want to apply for some funding. OK, y'all so where, where was i at soft pull on equifax when opening account so keep it unlocked another thing is that fair winds will be checking your check systems i already told y'all about that man most credit unions they will be checking your check systems basically another report that people are not aware of when it comes to like you owing certain banks like for example overdraft fees and shit like that right just go to checksystems.com like i told y'all my other video pull up your report they're gonna ask for your basic info like your name address y'all get the point right once you pull up your check systems report you got them negatives identify those negatives let's say it was with a certain institution call up that institution and try to settle something you gotta come out of pocket okay that's fine you come out of pocket it's worth it now you can build relationships with other institutions when they check your check systems you know you're straight you don't got them negatives on there and a lot of people tell y'all oh i know how to freeze your check systems i could i could show you how to freeze it trust me these institutions know if your check systems is frozen or not they're gonna tell you hey look uh to proceed with the application to become a member with us you're gonna have to unfreeze your check systems report and you have to do it and when they check it you still got them negative so you have to deal with them you have to uh situate that man you have to get those removed so you can build relationships with these institutions have deposits going in okay straight i got deposits now now i can now i can apply for their high limit business credit cards or their personal swipes okay y'all so also too for the credit card applications let me just show y'all the personal credit cards real quick they will be pulling your um your equifax credit report so it will be a hard pull but as you can see you got the visa signature credit card and you got the cashback visa credit card and what i like about this credit card is that it has zero percent interest for the first 12 months yeah it's a personal credit card but like i said some of y'all you guys might be in a rush you get what i'm saying you guys have access to a high limit personal credit card that you want to invest in that you haven't used right 
you can, you know, bust a play with your personal credit cards. The only thing is you are going to take a hit on your personal credit. OK, y'all. And if you take a hit, you're not going to be able to apply for some business credit cards. If you understand what I'm saying until you pay off that balance. So you can invest with your personal credit as long as it's a zero percent interest credit card. So you won't pay interest on that balance. I always tell you, all it doesn't matter if you want to take that little hit, your, that little hit on your personal credit. It's only going to be temporarily. You can always pay down your cards and you straight. OK, y'all. So I like that they have that offer right there. Y'all can see the rest of the benefits. I don't really care about the, you know, the other benefits. When you spend 5000 in the first three months, $900 travel value. That's a good, you know, offer. Earn five points. Y'all get the point. Okay, Hurrich fam. So y'all can check out the personal credit cards. Good personal credit cards so you can have a high limit reporting on the personal side before you go for some business funding. But what I really wanted to show y'all was the business credit cards. They got some real good hitters, man. So... We have the Fairwinds business, man. This one has 0% interest for the first 12 months on purchases. So the business cash visa. I'm telling y'all, that's a very good business credit card. This is another credit card that y'all can stack on the Equifax side. Remember, I tell y'all, line up your institutions. Line up the institutions you want to apply for some funding. Get certain credit cards that pull Equifax, certain that pull Experian, and certain that pull TransUnion. So 0% interest for 12 months on purchases and balance transfers because there, there's some business credit cards that only allow purchases. But you got balance transfers as well. I'm telling y'all, y'all could really bust some plays with these certain institutions like Fairwinds, y'all sleeping on them. All you have to do is mainly focus on the relationship that you're building with them, okay? Focus on that relationship. Have, have deposits going in constantly. And then apply for some funding. Three to six months. I tell y'all, line up your institutions for three to six months and bank with them. Show them deposits. Show them how you move. Okay, now you're going to have a higher chance of getting approved on the business side. And in general, getting a higher limit. So APR for the first 12 months, man, you straight, no annual fee, no balance transfer fees, no foreign transaction fees. Y'all see the benefit in that? No balance transfer fees, no foreign transaction fees, and you got 0% interest on 0% uh, APR for the first 12 months on purchases and balance transfers. This is a gem right here, man. I'm telling y'all. And they got some unlock up to 2,000 bonus cash back. Receive $500 cash back when you spend $5,000 in the first 90 days. Receive $1,500 in additional cash back when you spend $50,000 in the first 180 days. Your card is open. Okay, y'all. So that's some real sauce right there. And now we got the business rewards card. So I'm telling y'all, the offers that they have on there, 0% introductory APR for the first 12 months on balance transfers and purchases. But what I want y'all to see is this is what I'm really paying attention to. Obviously, you know the offer, but no balance transfer fees and you don't pay interest. Come on, bro. Like, I'm telling y'all, y'all sleeping on these smaller institutions. Y'all got to start building relationships with them because they will throw you that bag. Just bank with them. Another thing that I want to tell y'all about these business credit cards with Fairwinds, you have to have a business that is at least two years of age. If not, you're going to get denied, okay? That's why I tell y'all, y'all have to open up y'all LLC ASAP. Some of y'all, you know, Y'all starting in the credit game, y'all got fucked up credit. And another thing, what else? Y'all got fucked up credit or y'all in the building stage. Open up y'all LLC ASAP. You have to open up L your LLC ASAP so you can get that age, okay? Because with certain institutions, like I told y'all in one of my past videos, they look at that age. They pay attention to your LLC age. For example, an institution like Capital One Tap, right? They pay attention to your age and there's multiple other institutions out there that pay attention to that age okay so you want to have the best benefit of the doubt you know what i'm saying good credit age uh good business age uh you got all the data points listed you ready for some funding okay y'all so you have to have them two years man i'm telling y'all there's certain institutions that really require them two years on the business side i know i told y'all on the personal side you want to have your oldest primary credit card two years but on the business side with certain institutions they care about that okay y'all and what else did i not tell y'all about this institution that's basically it man with uh fairwinds credit union man y'all can go check them out if you guys are interested go check them out have deposits going in uh go for the business credit cards that's what i recommend zero percent apr 12 months no balance transfer fees 0% on APR on purchases and balance transfers. These are very good business credit cards that I want y'all to check out. Okay, Hurrich fam. So hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. I got some more sauce coming up for y'all. Y'all stay tuned. Y'all have a good day to Hurrich Wake, huh?